Hello, friends. Hello, friends. I am called to share a meditation and vision with Bridget of the Green Cloak that came today thanks to a meditation that Jenna Matlin was leading for those of us who are attending um, her Ireland Tarot retreat. And as frequently happens for those of us who have had a guided meditation practice for many, many years, sometimes we just veer off from what's being shared. And that's absolutely okay. If there are any viewers who are new to guided meditation practices, something that I wish I had been told early on is that however you see things in your mind's eye is okay. That if you want to move around and actually embody the visualization and the meditation, that's okay. You can actually speak and use your real voice when you are talking and interacting with any gods or spirits or ancestors that may come up for you. The idea that it has to be sitting cross-legged, closed eyes, stillness is one very valid form of meditation, but it is by far not the only form. And so as you listen to what came up and through for me today, and part of why I share it with you is because I want more people to carry this vision in their hearts. However it works for your body is great. And so with that, find a way to be comfortable. If you know that you are someone who likes to move around a lot, by all means, have that space. If you are someone that likes to be still and supported, great. If you want to lie down, great. If you're not sure what you want, you want to be able to try out all of the things, great. However you are coming to yourself and your body today, start with noticing your breath. How it fills and flows through your body. How it fills and flows through the space around you. and drop in a little deeper. Noticing places where you are holding tensions. Can you send a breath there and find a little more release, a little more relaxation, a little more ease. Sometimes sighing out helps. Sometimes a hum helps. Sometimes literally going and giving yourself a little bit of massage or tactile touch somewhere helps. <sighs> As you are dropping down deeper into yourself, feeling the energy is around you and within you. 
Allow your attention, your mind's eye, whether your eyes are closed, in soft focus, if they are open. Allow your attention to come to your heart center. And notice what it looks like whatever colors or textures there may be. Notice what it feels like. If it is expansive, contracted, feeling the beat of your heart, the contractions allowing blood to course through your veins, with or without assistance. And in that heart of yours, allow it to have a door. And notice what that door looks like how it feels, what materials it's made out of, whether it's locked or unlocked. And allow it to open, whether you have the key, whether it magically unlocks if it was locked, if it opens easily, if it's kind of rusty and you need to give it a little elbow grease or some WD-40 or some magic fairy dust. Notice how your heart door opens and then step through to what's on the other side. And on that other side, however it is shown to you, for me, it is beautiful mountains with deep green trees. And in the distance, I can hear water flowing, a beautiful river. And wherever your landscape brings you, hear the sound of water in the distance and start journeying towards that water. And Bridge, Bridget, Kirki her long green mantle is there with you. At the waters, her sisters, her own sacred waters. You both bend down give a blessing, to give thanks, to release whatever needs to be released into the flow, asking for help to let it go. And Bridget of the Green Mantle takes your hands you are both barefoot and step in to the waters and start circling and dancing in the waters, splashing and laughing around and around and around and around. And you notice that suddenly your feet are not in the waters anymore. You and Bridget of the Green Cloak are circling and flying up into the air, her cloak and mantle flying 
wide, spinning and dancing, buoying you up. And as you are spinning and dancing round and round, you start coming down and down. And Bridget disappears and you gently flutter and find yourself in the center of a deep forest. And you can barely make out the path in front of you, but you can smell the most delicious smells. And so you follow them. You start to hear crackling of a fire, a hearth fire. And you follow the smells and you follow the sounds. And you come upon the Dagda in green, verdant glory, sitting with his or their back against a huge tree. And there is a giant cauldron in front of them, simmering, bubbling, such amazing smells. And you have a moment with the Dagda. Maybe there are words exchanged. Maybe there is silence in the listening to the fire and the smelling of the deliciousness. Whatever and however communication happens for you, it is respectful and heartfelt. And at the perfect time, Bridget comes back with a small loaf of freshly baked bread that is able to be eaten whatever your dietary restrictions are with the symbol of the three spirals of the Triskel on top. And each of you holding a hand on that small loaf of bread, break off a third. And you each take a place around the cauldron of deliciousness and dip that bread, that food, that nourishment into the cauldron, into the three of you eat. Maybe there is conversation around the fire. Maybe there is not. Maybe animals from the woods come to share in the feast. Maybe they don't. Maybe there is a perfect place to put some out for the Fae. And after that time together, the three of you or maybe more, if more have joined your meal. Grab hands and again start circling. And that circle has y'all starting to fly. And as you go higher and higher, Bridget and her green cloak 
go huge. And you grab one corner and the Dagda grabs the other corner and you fly up, up so that you can see the whole world. And continuing flying around the green mantle, getting larger and larger, being able to spread out, encompassing the entire world. And once you see that magical green cloak of protection, of love, of verdant, heart-centered healing going around the entire world. You start spiraling back and start gently coming back, back to your body back to the room or the place that is supporting you. And take your time. You've just come back from quite a journey. If you want to journal about your experiences, you may. If you have a deck of tarot cards or a deck of oracle cards, you may want to get it and see what message they have for you. The message that they have for us is the Two of Cups. This is one of the marriage cards in the deck. Although, Cirque de Tarot by Lisa Robertson and Josh Tufts take it a little away from Rider Waite Smith traditional iconography. Here there's the pearl and the waters flowing from one to another because the two of cups are the healing waters. Your cup being filled by the love and acceptance of another and you being filled by the cup of love and acceptance from another so that there is a give and a take, a reciprocity, a balance. As above, so below. And the pearl at the center of this oyster is also glowing. And there's a reminder there because pearls are created from friction, from friction that is in a soft, loving, warm place that over time that small grain of sand turns into a pearl. And so there is an invitation there to notice the places and people with whom we sometimes feel friction and find the healing waters within. Have a beautiful day.